What's up, Internet? Current 1776 here. With Mission 100. I'm pumped, y'all. I'm freaking pumped. I'm pumped. Been a hundred months. I've been talking to that lens right there about all the cool stuff that comes in my battle box subscription. Back in 2015, I seen a, a post on Instagram from a company called Battle Box. I was like, hey, that's some pretty cool looking stuff. I'm gonna buy me some of that right there. And I did. And then I says, I'm gonna shoot me a video about that. I'm gonna share it with people because I think it's awesome. And I did. In a room above my garage, set up a table just like this, about belly button high, sharing the awesome things that comes in Battle Box. What I have in front of me is the very first month of Battle Box. Battle Box was the best monthly subscription box for outdoor gear and survival gear, and it still is. And here we are with Mission 100. Look at it. Will you just look at it? Will you look at it right there? Just look at it. Will you look at it? Look at it. It's right here. And not only is it right here, but let me tell you something, okay? In case you don't already know, there's going to be 500 of these boxes, okay? That's going to have extra gear in it. It's going to have gear in it that I'm not showing you in here, okay? They're all going to have the same gear that I'll show you in here depending on what level you know, you're, you got, but 500 of those boxes are going to have extra stuff in there from some really cool brands that stepped up to help us celebrate Mission 100. And it's somewhere north of $30,000 worth of extra gear spread out amongst them 500 boxes. And it's freaking awesome. Can you hear me in the back? That's awesome. You want to know what else is awesome? Five boxes, five Mission 100 boxes are going to have a golden ticket in them. One golden ticket in five boxes. The five people that receive the golden ticket are going to be flown to an undisclosed location. I can't tell you where it's going to be. It's undisclosed. That's what that means. But when those five get there, you're going to get to hang out with us for a little while, have a little fun, and then we're going to go get in a tank and shoot at a target, like a legit tank. And if any of those five people hit the target, they could win up to $100,000. 100K. A one and five zeros. One, zero, zero, that's a hundred. Zero, 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 yeah, five. Yeah, five zeros. Yeah, five zeros. One hundred thousand dollars. And then when we're done shooting tanks, we're gonna go out, have some drinks, have some good food, hang out, have a big old time. It's gonna be freaking awesome. That guy heard me in the back. <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I'm by myself. Like, there's, there's a wall. Like. 40 some feet in front of me there. So in other words, y'all need to be sure to be looking around in your box, okay? And see if you see a golden ticket in there. And if you get anything extra in there, oh, yeehaw to that too. Let's see what I got in my box. Yeehaw. Okay, dokie, here we go, here we go. Whoa, about to throw that slap off the table. We got our mission brief, mission 100. You might want to save this, could be a collector's item. And when we get to 200, you could put it right side by side with it, and then 300, you're going, yeah. 200's in our sights now, baby. You hear me? See what I did there, sights, shooting tanks? First page, we got a write up in here from yours truly. Read it. I spend a lot of time doing that. I do not spell well, and I'm not very good at writing. Please read it. In the basic box, the first item is a member recommended item from Don C. of Mission British Columbia, one of our Canadian brothers. So he recommended this. This company sent me some to try. Oh, baby Jesus. I'm straight up addicted to this stuff. So first up in the basic box, we got the Borvo broth. This is a variety pack. And here's why we got a variety pack. Because these two that I tried, I, I could not decide which one because they both are awesome. So we said, hey, can we make a variety pack? And they said, yeah, we can do that. Well, bam, variety pack of Borvo broth. Borvo broth. I think I said it wrong to start with. This stuff is amazing. Let's take a look at it. Borvo broth, instant 
sipping bone broth. We got three beef and vegetables in here and you got three classic chickens in here. If you got just one, there'd be six in there anyway, right? So we was like, hey, we'll split them up, do three and three so people can try them both, see which one they like the best because I can't, I can't decide I like both of them. When in camp, holy crap, man. This is a quick, easy drink that you can make that is freaking delicious. You can add it in with, with food that you're rehydrating if you want to or anything like that to bring the flavor profile up to 11. I mean, this stuff is freaking great. Very lightweight. You can, uh, ooh, they got you a, a card in there, a coupon card. Be sure to use that because you're gonna want more of this. I'm telling you, listen, I've drank my weight in this like the first month I had it, like every day. So let's take a look at some of the uh, nutritional facts real quick before we Talk about it a little more. Six servings per container. So, this is a serving. There's six of them in there. The beef and vegetable has 70 calories, one gram of fat, no saturated fat, no trans fat, 1% cholesterol, which is less than five milligrams, sodium, total carbs is three grams, but look at the proteins, no sugars, 11 grams of protein. 11 grams of protein in this right here. Protein helps with, you know. And then the classic chicken here has 50, and it has seven grams of protein. And this here's what your packets look like. This is your beef and vegetable bone broth, and this right here is your uh, chicken, your classic chicken bone broth. I'm telling you folks. So, seriously, all it is, boil you up some water, rip this open, pour it in, your taste buds are gonna freaking punch you in the face because they enjoy it so much. It's freaking amazing. You get lots of protein out of it. It's small and lightweight. You can pretty much put it anywhere in your pack. And it's it's a delightful little drink to have while you're in camp. One tip I will give you though, don't pour this in while your water's boiling. I did that the first time and uh, it boiled over. <laughs> so turn your heat off or remove it from the heat however you're heating up your water. Pour this in, stir it in, let it dissolve in, and get ready, folks. Get your camp all set up and everything, and you want to kind of sit back and sip on something delicious, that right there, it's, it's a 10. It's a 10, I'm telling you, it's a 10. So the next item in the basic box is something that's a problem solver for me. Down here in this Georgia heat, you leave your phone sitting out in the sun too long, and that joker goes into like high temperature protection mode, and you can't use your phone. So I'll be out fishing or whatever on the river and have my phone sitting beside me on my John boat, which get, the John boat gets hot as crap anyway because it's just an aluminum boat. But I want to take a picture of a fish or I want to, you know, call, you know, a family member or something like that. And I pick my phone up and it's got this temperature warning on it, right? Or heck, even worse than that, what if you drop your phone into the river? Well, something goes gone. It's going straight down to the bottom. And a lot of us has experienced that. You leave your phone sitting on your console in your vehicle and you're gonna quickly run in somewhere and come back out and you end up spending more time than you expected in there. You come back to a hot car and your phone's all jacked up and you can't use it for a while. And it takes a while for them things to cool off. And on the flip side of it, you got the cold temperature problems, right? Those of you in cold climates, you know, you got your phone out and you're hunting or whatever and the battery's just falling out of sight because of cold temperatures will freaking drop a battery charge very, very quickly. You're sitting there and you're tying daggum hot hands to your batteries and stuff like that to keep them, keep them warmed up so they don't drain real bad. I've had that situation a couple times when I was hunting in Illinois. It was so daggum cold up there. My daggum battery was just freaking dying. And my camera batteries were dying too. So I had to keep wrapping up my camera batteries and stuff in hot hands to keep them warm. This product right here is gonna help keep your device cool when it's hot. It's gonna help keep it warm when it's cold, and if you drop it in water, it's gonna protect it, and it's gonna keep it from sinking from the, to the bottom because it floats. It's called the Fousey. <laughs> it's like a koozie for your phone. It's freaking awesome. And it'll help you if you drop the son of a gun down on the concrete or something like that. You know, if you got your phone in there and you drop it or whatever, it's gonna help protect it as well. It says here up to nine feet. Let me give you a, a better look at it from up here, from down here like this. So this here is the Fousey like a phone koozie. It's the XP3 series thermal capsule. Antimicrobial battery life, extends your battery life up to 4% due to environmental reasons. Sink proof and drop proof. Maximum device protection 
for every adventure. Let's take a look at it here. Gotcha. Gotcha owner's manual right here. Check that out. But here is your fusey. Check that out. So it's got straps here on the back in case you want to run it through your belt if you want to or strap it to a pack or anything like that. And then up here at the top, it's got these rubberized pull tabs. It's Velcroed and you can slide your phone down in that jewel right there. And it's got a little, I don't know, you can't see that, it's a dang dark. There's like a little mesh pocket in here too. Grab my phone. So you take your phone, you slide that dude down in there. And that is a uh, iPhone something other Pro Max or whatever. It's the big iPhone. Heck, I don't know which one it is, but it's the big one. So it fits right in there. This is the uh, the large. So it says it fits a uh, 8 Plus XR, 11, 11 Pro Max, and a 12 Pro Max in the iPhone, and the Galaxy S10, S21 Plus, or S10 Plus, S21 Plus, Note 20, and the Z Fold, and other large size phones. This material is gonna keep this thing climate controlled, if you will, okay? So if it's sitting out in the hot freaking sun, it's not gonna bake through this and heat the device up. And if it's cold out, it's gonna maintain a good temperature inside here to keep your battery and all that stuff good to go, right? So really nice case, you can beat it around. You can throw it on the concrete. And look, I mean, it's, my phone's in here. I just throwed it on the dang concrete down here. It's good. Ain't nothing wrong with it. I gotta get up at 6 a.m. It's 11.36, so I gotta get on with it. Anyway. That is, let me get the freaking concrete crap off of it. So that is your Fousey. That's your second item in the basic box. But you may not get a black one. There's other colors that you might get, like this right here. So this one, they call Pardon me, let me get that. So this one they call the Mako. It's kind of a gray shark looking, shark skin looking pattern on it. And you got this silver one. This is like the space agey, like NASA looking one or whatever. And you got blue, get this blue one. It's got this kind of bluish pattern to it. And then they got this green one here, like real tree pattern, real tree, real tree fishing pattern on here. So you may get one of these five colors Black, Mako, silver, blue, or green. The table is filling up fast. That's your second item in the basic box. So next up in the basic box is an item that's perfect for like real emergency use. You don't want to use this unless it's a real emergency. And this item has been making waves in the EDC community over the last few months, which is, which is great because I freaking love it. I think it's freaking awesome and I think it's something everybody should have access to. And what I'm talking about is the Batterix Power Card. This thing right here is pretty cool. It's one of those forget it until you need it things. And I like that, okay? Because I'm bad about using something or using up something when I really don't need to be using it. And then I might, you know, if it's a consumable or something like that, then it's done, I'm gonna have to buy some more or whatever. This thing right here works great has an eight year shelf life. You can keep this thing in your EDC gear, keep it in your vehicle, keep it somewhere in a pack or something like that for eight freaking years and not touch it. And it's gonna be good to go. Check it. The Batterix SOS card is what they're calling it on the package here. Call it a power card. Three hours of power, eight years shelf life, compatible with Apple and Android. So this is a lithium battery right here. And we're gonna open it up, throw that in the mystery spot. I mean, you can literally put this in your wallet if you got you know, room for it. Um, 
Check that dude out. So it's about the size of a business card or a credit card. You got your adapter right here for your iPhone. You pull this out and there's your USB-C. See that? So it fits right in here. All self-contained, ready to go when you need it. You just pull it out. Bloop. Boom, USB-C right there. You got an iPhone. You just pop this out, plug that in right there. Boom, plug that into your phone and you're ready to rock. This thing's great. Where'd I put my phone? There you go. So let's see. I don't know, I'm sitting at like 50% right now, I guess. And you just plug that rascal in. Bloop, charging, just like that. I don't have an Android phone to put it on. You know, if you use it just for just long enough to give you, give you a little bit of juice, pop this thing back in, put your adapter back in, and you and you back. You, you ready? You ready to get on? Get on with the get on right there. That thing's freaking awesome. Look how small and flat that is. Heck, with some cases, you can just slide this thing behind your phone in your case or some of the people that have cases where they put cards or whatever in the back, you can put it right in there and you always got it with you. I mean, think about it. Big battery packs go, go dead. Big battery packs fail, things like that. This is an emergency situation right here and it's freaking awesome. And there's tons of people out buying these and using these and it's got lots of really, really good feedback and reviews on it. So we wanted to share it with you guys. I think they're great. I keep a couple of these in a Fousey in my vehicle, right? And uh, I'm gonna be stashing more in other areas as well just for that backup thing. That's the third item in the basic box, the Batterix charge card. The fourth item in the basic box is something that I thoroughly enjoy, and that's making fire. And this stuff right here will help you do that. It's called Squatch Rope. Squatch Rope. This stuff is awesome. So it's a hemp fire starter that works rather well. You just cut off what you need on here, there's a, it's, it's basically like a rope in there, so you got like four strands that you can separate and you can split that up into multiple packs or whatever, or you can just cut it off and use the whole piece. But you just take this, you fluff it up into as fine a fibrous material as you can and throw a spark at it and she burns, baby. It burns for a good bit of time to help you get your other tender going and get everything going and get your fire started. Works great wet. So when I was testing this out, I dropped it in water I let it sit in the water for however long it took for the, uh, the first stuff to burn that I did that was dry. Fluffed it up. It took a few more tries with the ferro rod to get it to light versus dry. But once it caught a good spark, she fired right up and burned just as good as a dry one. And what I love about these kind of fire starters, you can split them up into smaller pieces, many smaller pieces, and put them in all your different kits to enhance your fire starting kit that you currently have. So that is the final item in the basic box, the Squatch Rope. Now it's time for the advanced box. In the advanced box, we got the Ruck and River trekking poles. So these are like really nice trekking poles, hiking poles, whatever you might want to call it. And I love the versatility of hiking poles and trekking poles. Got your case here, obviously. It says Ruck and River on it. All right. These things are freaking awesome. In many vidges here in the past, you've seen me using some trekking poles for a lot of shelter stuff that I've been doing. And I've really been testing different types of trekking poles, what features I like of some, what I don't like and things like that. These right here are kind of the culmination of what I like about a bunch of multiple different types of trekking poles. And if you know anything about trekking poles, there's a lot of different variations and there's a big swing of prices, right? From 20 bucks, plastic, you know, type trekking poles to hundreds of dollars and I've seen some well over a thousand and close to two thousand dollars. I have not tested those. What's the point? 
I'm not buying trekking poles that cost that much. From the ones I tested, there was things I liked about some, things I didn't like about some. This one right here has all the stuff that I like. So first off, cork handles. When it comes to sweat and stuff like that, they hold up better, they feel better, they're, they're, they're a lot, uh, lot softer on the hands than like the, the foam rubber and the foam ones that seem that you, know, you can pick at them real good when they get wet and nasty and just ain't no good. Cork is, is just amazing. Like I love cork on my fishing poles. Got a nice soft strap, goes over your, your wrist. Got some contouring here that fits really, really good in your hand. And then we've got the aluminum poles here, which you know aren't l the lightest like carbon fiber, but holy crap, you gotta spend a freaking ton of money for those. And these work just as good. So you can see the Ruck and River logo right there, aluminum poles. And the one thing I really liked about it is the lever lock design here. So there's many different designs of this. This is a plastic uh, tab here, if that's what you wanna call it, or ear, I don't know technically you know, the lever, uh, but a lot of them still have, they have plastic pins and plastic adjustment knobs here. This one has metal, okay? So you can adjust these out. It goes to 54 inches is what they recommend you stop there, so go to right there. All right, so if you want to adjust this, if you want to adjust this, you just loosen your, your lever and then you can tighten this up and it's going to make this tighter okay so like if you're really hard at banging down on stuff or whatever then you can tighten it up several of the ones i tested this this was plastic okay and when you really crank down on it it would break so this one right here has got metal metal pin and metal tensioner which i like you got measurements here so you know, if you're, if you're sharing this with a family member and you're going back and forth, y'all can remember kind of where your length is so that you can get there perfect at every time. And it's also, you know, on the bottom here as well. So it fully collapsed, it's about 24 inches and then uh, up to 54 inches fully extended. Uh, which is great for people from say five foot all the way up to a little over six foot. I'm six foot two and this uh, pulled out to the full length is freaking perfect for me. It's right where I got about a 90 degree bend, a little shy of a 90 degree bend in my arm and I love it, works great. Here on the bottom you got a rubber boot, if you will. If you pull that off, you got like a carbide tip right here. So you can use the boot or you can use the tip, whichever you prefer. And we've got snow and mud baskets to go on it as well. So if you're going through snow and mud and stuff like that, you can put these on, screw them on, and you can put your boot back on or leave it off, whichever you want to do. And these will help keep it from sinking down and marring down in the mud and snow as bad. And you got you know these small ones, which are kind of more the the mud ones and these big ones are like for snow or whatever. So, tons of versatility there. And you also get, with this one, you also get two extra of the rubber boots to go on there. Because if you wear these down, you're gonna wanna put another set on there. You got another set already there, ready to go. These things are great. Like I said, I've tested quite a few of these. Um, and this has all the features that I liked of each one I tested all into one package. So to me, it's the perfect trekking pole without spending hundreds, maybe even thousands of freaking dollars. And these things really help. I mean, they really help. You, you even watch these ultra runners, and of course they're probably using the $2,000 freaking trekking poles, but like these people that do heavy cross country and ultra running and all that sort of stuff, I mean, these guys are like literally walking dead. I, I just, I can't believe the, the, the mental capacity these guys have to be able to put their bodies through that. But they're, uh, I mean, they, they use these poles. Like it helps, it helps them or whatever. So your casual camper, you know, guy, you know, that goes out on the weekends and, and stuff like that and not, not, you know, rucking 
hundreds of miles at the time, uh, these are great. These are absolutely great. And you can use these to help you build shelters. Tarp shelters, you know, porch mode for your tarp. If you, if you run in a hammock, uh, just all kinds of stuff you can use these for. You can use these for supports. You can use this as a support to shoot off of if need be. You know, you can, you can you know, hold these like this, drop them down in the ground, hold them like this, put your rifle across there for a good solid platform to shoot off of if you don't have anything else to prop up on them. And there's tons of uses for having collapsible poles. I always now, since I've been testing, I really haven't used trekking poles much. I just find a stick out in the woods and I've been missing out. So um, I'm always gonna have a set of trekking poles with me strapped to my pack, you know, in case I need it for helping me with my walking and hiking or if I need to build a shelter this is really good because you can adjust your height so you can do all the things and not have to worry about cutting a stick the right length or whatever your stick breaking. So really cool trekking poles here from Ruck and River. Yeehaw. Got these little things here that come in it with the package to keep them together. I recommend not throwing them away because they kind of help keep them together. I kind of dig it. So now it's time for the Pro Box. The Pro Box this month is the Climate Versa Blanket. Me and this blanket right here have become, not this one exactly, but the one exactly like it, but not that, you know what I'm saying, have become very close. This blanket is freaking awesome. I live in Georgia. It's hot 80% of the year, 85%, 87, 80, 89% of the year, it's hot. Okay, I like to go outside. I like to sleep outdoors. I like to camp. I like to do all the things. I don't really like sleeping and sweating to death, but I do like to have a cover, right? This thing right here, shoo-wee, and it's versatile. That's why they call it the Versa Blanket. And I just noticed just how colorful everything in the box is this month. Some guns massive. This is a freaking nice blanket. So I don't remember the length. 80 inches by 58 inches. This is the perfect blanket for, and I mean, if it's like stupid cold, obviously you're gonna want more than this. This is better than nothing, but great to keep in your vehicles, you know, ha having, a, having a blanket in there in case of a snow apocalypse or some crap like that or whatever. But, but you know, sometimes kids need a blanket. Sometimes you run up on an accident or whatever, and you need to, you need to cover somebody up in a blanket to keep them warm or whatever, keep them, keep them from going into shock. Or maybe even for yourself, right? Who knows? Great for keeping in a vehicle, nice and compact. Excellent for camping and backpacking and things like that, because it's not a big, heavy blanket, but it does a really good job, and it's not gonna burn you alive if it's warm out, and you still want to have some cover. Excellent for at the beach, you name it, some of y'all know how it is with blankets, and I'm t I promise you this, some of you guys are gonna get this taken from you by your wives because they're gonna grab it, they're gonna feel how freaking nice and comfortable that is, and it's going with them on the couch. Mark my words, it's going to happen. What's really cool about this blanket is, it's got these pockets in the corners, on every corner, it's got a pocket right there. In every corner, it has one of these pockets. So what you can do is throw this thing over you and around you. You just put your hands in, in the pockets, all right? And you can cover up in it. I imagine that sounded really bad in the microphone. You can cover up in this. You can very easily wrap yourself up in this thing right here, all right? And it doesn't matter which way. Lengthwise, I wonder if I stuck my feet in these. If I could jump out of an airplane and fly like a flying squirrel. There goes my uh, ADHD for you. And speaking of sticking my feet in the corners to be a flying squirrel, it has its own foot box in it as well. So on one end, you got this large pocket. You can see here, like a foot box, okay? So that's why I really like this for the you know, warmer months because you can throw this over you, stick your feet in there so you know you're gonna at least keep your feet warm. You can throw it off of you if you need to, and it's always right there where you can grab it because your feet's in the foot box and you're good to go, right? So it's, you can use this literally like a sleeping bag if you wanted to, like 23 ounces. I think the same was it 23 ounces? Huh, I remember 
23 ounce freaking sleeping bag. Another reason why this is a great blanket just to have freaking accessible anywhere and everywhere, especially in your vehicle is, you can store this whole blanket, fold it up and store it inside this foot box and make a pillow out of this. So you can have a pillow if you need a pillow. And it's real, it's that 20D um, soft touch polyester with a fiber feel in there. I mean, it's, it's a freaking amazing blanket. And you can use the foot box for a hoodie too if you wanted to. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? That's why they call it the Versa blanket. It's versatile. Take it to football games, stuff like that. Small, you can bunch it up. Kids, taking it to the beach, pillow, the whole nine. The Versa blanket, yeehaw, it's freaking great. And you might be getting one of four different color options with this. So you got a blue green like this one, or you're gonna have a blue gray, or a blue and orange, or a black and green. So you're gonna get one of those four. Did I say that right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, one of those four colors. Yeehaw, of the Versa blanket coming out to you. It's time for the Pro Plush. It's time for the Pro Plush. We got something special for you. Get off my Versa blanket, fly. So this knife has been in the works for a while, a long while. It's a special knife. So it's from M3 Tactical. Kevin Moore from M3 Tactical and I have been working on this. Man, we, we came up with a freaking winner. We came up with a winner. This, this is a custom, custom knife right here. When I was first introduced to M3 Tactical, I saw quality, I saw really nice designs, craftsmanship, attention to detail, and made in the USA. So when I was talking with Kevin Moore, this is what we came up with. We decided to call it the M100 current 1776 Custom. Let me show it to you. Look at that. Will you look at that? Will you look at that? The M100 current 1776 Custom. So Kevin Moore and I put this dude together and we are really proud of it. So as you can see here, it is a fixed blade, of course. I love fixed blades and it's got a really nice Kydex sheath on here with no clip. No clip, why don't it have a clip? Let me tell you why this knife doesn't have a clip. Majority of the clips that come with knives like this, I, I am not a fan of, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I'm not, I'm not a fan of many of those clips. I have not found one that I like thoroughly enjoy like that come with knives, okay? There's, there's some out there that, that, that you can get from, from custom shops or from uh, like the Ulti clip, you, you can put on this and use that if you want to. But I'm just not a fan of many of, really all of the Kydex sheath uh, clips or attachments that, that come on these things. So I was like, you know what? There's plenty, there's plenty of, of clips out there and and many many already have a bunch of clips and they can put it on there whichever one they like the most because I don't want to put a clip on here that you're gonna hate that's just that's just my take on it it's got holes in it you can put whatever kind of clip you want to on it you can lash it do how do however you want right so it does not have a clip and that's why because I hate 99.9% .9 of the freaking kind of sheath type clips that come with knives out there. I just, I just do. You may not, and I'm sure you got a dozen of them. Put it on this knife and you're good to go. <laughs> and a little tidbit, I may or may not be working on designing a clip that I do like. Just know that. We're not there yet. It's not as easy as I thought. <laughs> so now let's take a look at the M100. Current 1776 custom. Let me wipe the holes off on this thing. So what we have here is a blade length of 4.375 inches. The overall length is about nine and a half inches. Full tang is 1095 carbon steel with black G10 handles. It's got a really large area here for, for your lanyard. And the design of the, uh, the handle here, it's got these notches in it. See these notches here on both sides that fit especially well when you really choke up on this knife. Knuckle, the bottom side of your knuckle, your thumb right there, and boy does it ever fit good. So when you're choked up and you're really working material, you can really choke up on this and have a really good purchase on there. If you wanting to hold it like this to work on something fine, you can pinch. You can pinch there with the uh, 
with the notches. It's freaking great. So on this side, it's got M3 Tactical logo there on the blade. And then on this side, got my signature current 1776 there on the blade. Nice and thick, strong spine. Fits great in the hand. It's freaking awesome. Look at that dude, man. That right there is amazing. Built very well, solid, 100% made in the USA with 100% USA source materials. All the way down into the Kydex. Turned out great. Freaking love it. And if you hadn't already figured it out yet, this is a staff recommended item by me. <laughs> so, go outside and use this thing, man. Bust up some freaking sticks with it and freaking carve out some stuff and build your shelters, baton it, freaking do, do what you need to do with it, man. It's gonna be great for pretty much anything, bushcraft, hunting, whatever. I mean, that's what it's designed to do. It's designed to be a workhorse and I hope you guys thoroughly enjoy it. There you go, the M100 current 1776 Custom right there from M3 Tactical. So freaking sweet. Did I say it was sharp? So that's Mission 100 of Battle Box, folks. Freaking wow. Like, I can't believe I just said that. Let's do a quick wrap up before I get all sappy over this because I'm, I'm actually like when I said, so that's Mission 100 of Battle Box, folks. It kind of kind of got me right here, you know what I mean? I mean, it's been a, it's been a lot of work. It's been a long time. And uh, anyway, we'll, we'll get into that here in, in just a little bit. We got the Borvo broth. I'm telling you, you're gonna fall in love with that stuff just as much as I have. Freaking amazing, and I wish I knew about it earlier because I'd be I'd been drinking it a long time ago. It's freaking amazing. You get three of the beef and vegetable and three of the classic chicken. They were like, well, which one, beef, beef or the chicken? I was like, I don't know. Give them both. Make a variety pack, maybe. Boom, variety pack right there. Awesome. The Batterix, eight years shelf life three hours of charge. Put that somewhere where you can keep it safe, know where it's at, and if in an event that you need it, you got it. Or in an event that somebody else needs it, you got it. This is a, a insurance thing. You only gonna use that when you need to use it. And I, and I think that's brilliant. That's freaking great. Works with USB-C. So I mean, if you got other USB-C devices that need charged, you, you can do it with that. And it's got an iPhone adapter if you got an iPhone. Then we got the Squatch Rope. Y'all know how I feel about fire starters. There had to be a fire starter in Mission 100, and we went with the Squatch Rope right here. It's a great hemp fire starter. You can break it up into multiple different sizes to put into multiple different packs, or you can just freaking chop off a big piece and use a whole big piece if you want to. But that's what I really love about this is you can section it out and put it in multiple kits. That's kind of how the way I roll. I think everybody should have multiple kits because things happen. Waterproof works great. Excellent, excellent fire starter. Then we've got the trekking poles here from Ruck and River. I think this is a great combo for a trekking pole right here without spending a freaking metric ton of money on them. So we've got cork handles. We got really nice aluminum tubes, really nice clasp right here with metal pins and metal adjustment. So that's not a plastic piece that if you get too tight or whatever that you end up breaking the pin in there, which I did on several ones that I tested. <laughs> they just couldn't handle the freaking torque, I guess. I don't know. You got extra set of boots to go on there. You got the carbide tips and then you got your mud baskets and your snow baskets. There's tons of uses for trekking poles. Makes you a fish fishing rod. Making shelter. Using to prop up to uh, freaking use as a rest to uh, shoot a rifle or whatever off of. I'm a believer in them now that I've been testing a bunch of them. I used to just deal with sticks out in the woods, but now I'm a, I'm a trekking pole fan. I dig my trekking poles. And we got over here, we got the koozies for your phone, the foozies. Keep it cool when it's hot, keep it warm when it's cold. We got multiple colors here. We got the black, we got this, this gray color here. I believe they call the uh, Mako silver, blue, and green. The real tree fishing pattern on it. These things work great. They work great. I know I've experienced it several times uh, with battery failure and phone overheating, whether it's being you know hot or cold out. And we got 
the Climate Bursa Blanket. This thing is freaking wonderful. I'm telling you, great blanket for warmer climates. What was it, 80 by 58? Freaking had corner pockets all the way around that you can put your hands in to wrap this thing around you. It's got a foot box. You can put it, all the material down into the foot box and make a pillow. It's the Versa blanket. It's versatile. Like I said, that's why they named it the freaking Versa blanket. It's freaking awesome. And last and certainly not least, we got a lot of work right here in front of us with the M3 Tactical Modern Mission Mobility. It's what the M3 stands for. Uh, M3 Tactical M100 Kern 1776 Custom. It's a great knife. 100% made in USA. 100% USA source. Pretty freaking sweet. <laughs> And I'm excited. It's cool. I mean, uh, I've, I've, that, that's the second knife I've had my uh, my name on, um, and uh, both being USA knives, and I'm proud of that. And uh, but this is the first like full size knife that uh, that I've been a part of, and it's freaking great. And I, I appreciate BattleBox for putting up with me for the last you know 100 months and allowing the 100th box to be something like this. Uh, it's pretty freaking cool. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it, and I really hope you guys enjoy that knife, and I really hope you guys use it. Get out there and use it. So this is the beginning of the celebration of Mission 100, uh, the, the, the 100th month of Battle Box. It's freaking, it's freaking awesome. Like, I'm getting so freaking excited about what's coming in the next few weeks um, and excited about seeing... Who, who gets a golden ticket, right? Again, five boxes are going to have a golden ticket in it. If you have that golden ticket, you need to follow the directions that are on that golden ticket because we're fixing to have a freaking amazing time. And you could win up to $100,000 if you get a golden ticket. Also, there's 500 boxes that are going to have extra gear in it. And it's going to be a, a good bit over $30,000 of, of extra gear amongst those 500 boxes. So please check those out. If you're not a member of our members only page, if you're a subscriber, you need to come to Facebook and go to the uh, Battle Box members only page and, and you know put in your request for that. We'll check and be sure that you are a subscriber. If you are, you'll be invited in. And uh, it's a great time. The community of BattleBox, the BattleBox community is, the, is, is, is where it's at. We thoroughly enjoy seeing and hearing from our customers of them being outdoors and using the gear and having a good time and learning new skills and, and, and trying to better themselves and get out of the freaking house. That's what keeps us going, man, honestly. To be 100% honest, that's what keeps us going. And a lot of... of of that uh, back and forth comes from the Facebook uh, members only page. All of us at BattleBox are, are active on that page. We do giveaways. I do live feeds and giveaway gear. Uh, it's exclusive. There's, there's things that, that you gain by being on the Facebook page. So if you're a subscriber, you need to, you need to come check out the members only Facebook page. I, I encourage you to do that. If you want to find out more about BattleBox, go to BattleBox.com, B-A-T-T-L-B-O-X.com. You can go to the What's in the Box page, and you can see everything from Mission 100 all the way down to March 2015, where this guy stood in front of that camera, that actual camera, and that actual lens and tripod and everything, <laughs> and that actual bench in the background, and said, Man, have I got something cool to show you guys. Man... Have I got something cool to show you guys? And I meant every freaking word of it, and I'm still here, right here, doing this for the 100th freaking time. Thank you to everybody for all the support over the years. Thank you for, uh, for just helping build this community and build this camaraderie that we have. And I am so freaking looking forward with the rest of the guys at BattleBox to bring you Mission 200 one day. I might have several more gray hairs by the end, but I'll be here. I promise you that. Yeehaw. So I'll see you next month with mission 101 of Battle Box. I can't believe I just said that. We're in the triple digits, folks. Mission 101. Love you, mean it. Bye. Holler when you get that golden ticket. We're going to go shoot a tank. <laughs> 
I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have opened this. This thing be great for survival, but horrible for putting back in a little bitty pouch. 